Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Cardwell's Cauldrons here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And today we're going through another deck for uh, Legion's Realms at War. Uh, I know it's, maybe it feels a little too soon, but I had to go back to the Titans because I had to deal the unstoppable part of them. And with that, uh, the name of the deck is called Legends Never Die. But before we get into it, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it and really appreciate it. Uh, of course, if you go to our Patreon, you'll see all the different tiers you can join up there and give you all the certain perks of your names at the end of the thing, our Discord, and all that fun shenanigans. But while we get into it, let's of course go into Prometheus, our warlord for the deck. It's uh, Prometheus, the Eternal Spirit. He has DCM 80, which is the, one of the higher life totals for sure. His special ability is Give Me Strength. Cool down four turns, uh, Bloodborne 10. Target one Titan Warrior you control, bestow plus six to the target warrior forever. It's not until in the turn. And the target warrior can make an additional attack this turn, which is yeah, silly. Yeah, it's silly to be able to just like, I hit you for 20 twice. It's cool. And the magic attack, of course, is Fire of the Gods. Deal five damage, divide how you choose to your opponent's warriors, which is insanely strong. And then, of course, the Fist of Might has his physical, which deals six damage if you need to punch the dude in the face. Yeah, his magical attack does a lot more than you think it ever would. Yeah. Because you you, you play one dude a turn and you're like, hey, I have lots of two drops. It's like, cool, kill us two dudes. Yeah, because I can. Kill, why not? It's right? kind of gross. Uh, so the veil we're playing is Veil of Liberation. It is uh, Veil counters three, and then it flips into Unbound Realm. Uh, when this card is revealed, immediately activate the following effect. Search your deck up for two Titan Warriors with attack two or less. Conscript them to your side of the field. So get two free dudes. Yep. And be like, hey, cool, here's dudes. Here's dudes. Which there won't actually be many of those because all our unstoppable <clears throat> ones are higher, higher attack. But uh, of course we have our synergy, which is Pantheon of the Unstoppable Power. Synergy uh, with a cooldown of six because you eradicate the top ten cards of your deck face up. Target up to two Titan Warriors on your side of the field. Bestow plus ten to each of those target warriors until in the turn. And if you've already seen our, or if you know how they play, if you eradicate anything, it can just win you the game that turn. Yeah, Titans get to do a lot when you eradicate stuff. And then on top of that, use this with his other ability of I attack twice. Yeah. And you've already bestowed plus 16 to that dude. That's that's a lot of damage. That's 32 damage in one swing. Yeah, that's almost half most of the Warlord's lives. Yeah. Just being like, hey, cool, die. I die, thanks. Uh, so the Guardian we're playing is Sarah's Serenasada, the Secret Soothsayer. Yep. We're going uh, for it. She is AP 80. At the start of the game, after mulligans, you can choose to do another mulligan. However, this time you can do this by selecting cards from your hand that you wish to put on the bottom of your deck. Then redraw cards equal to the amount you put on the bottom. Consume 20. If your warlord uses their special ability or for the first time this turn, you can reduce the warlord's special ability cost to zero turns. So, wow, you can reduce the cooldown to zero. Now, I haven't read in the rulebook, and I probably need to, but I figured you can just use your ability again. Possibly cool down, or at least next turn. No, it's for the first time this for turn. For the first time, yeah. So therefore, next turn you're just like, I can make a dude attack again. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. It's pretty dumb, especially Titans just punching on through. And speaking of such things, we have the Warrior of Attack Four, Prowless the the Primordial of Moxie. Uh, we have the Primordial Child of Justice Themis, which is an Attack Five, and another Attack Five, which is Primordial of Fame. Uh, Slim, Slim and I? Wait, Climan. Yeah, Climan. Climan. I don't know why I wanted to put those together. Uh, Eos, the primordial child of Arion, is an attack four. Yep. So we have a lot of big dudes. Yep. And these are the only attack ones I do believe in the deck. It's called the primordial Naaman Lioness because you recover five when it comes into play because you might as well just gain life if you can. Yeah, it's super strong. Yeah. Uh, Brontes, the primordial power, he is attack four. Because we're just big dudes. We're Tizer, just, big dudes, this, and that's what they do. That's all we want to do is when we want to punch really good. And the attack four, of course, the great hydra, my favorite attack, oh, attack five, sorry. Creatures of them, the primordial monster. Uh, and then we got the arm of ancient relic, the brazen bracers, uh, bloodborne 10, consume 10. This card equips to a warrior control. If you could, this card is equipped to a bounty realm, it. it you do not need to play the Bloodborne, so you're going to play the Bloodborne in this, but you gain it back, so you're, it doesn't you're, matter. You're a Titan, you're going to pay for it. Uh, bestow plus two attack to the Warrior. The, the equipped Warrior can attack a second time this turn, so, you know, attacking extra times is really dumb, and you're already big. <laughs> so you're already so, starting at four or, five or, four or five on power, and then this adds plus two, so six or seven, yeah. and I attack twice. So. Attack twice, just every turn. Just do it. It's fun. 
Uh, another unified is Unstoppable Anger. So target one warrior on the field and one Titan warrior on the side of the field. Eradicate both warriors. If this card is eradicated by effect of an Unstoppable card, you can target one fortified card on that field, destroy the targeted card. Now, mostly we will be using this just as a fortified killer if need be. But if you need, if you have your one drop and you play this, then you're killing whatever one drop and one of their warriors to get out the way pretty much. Uh, Unstoppable Fury it is a uh, unified as well. You may you must have four Titan Warriors in your eradication zone to activate either effect on this card. Target up to two face up warriors on the field and eradicate all Titans from your discard. Eradicate the targeted cards the targeted cards face up. Uh, if this card is eradicated by the effect of an unstoppable card, you can target one unified on the field, destroy the targeted card. Again, it helps clear the board, and if you need to put dudes in your eradication zone, you can. Yeah. Because that's where you want them to be all the time. Because Unstoppable Power Bond, it is an act unified. Once per turn, if one of Titan Warriors are eradicated by the effect of an unstoppable card, you can pay Bloodborne 6 and target up to three Titan Warriors in your eradication zone and revive the target warriors on your side of the field. At the end of turn, then that you activate this effect, eradicate all Titan Warriors on your side of the field. So if you just need this big one, big old swing, especially if you eradicate top 10, there's three Warriors on their field, you're just like, all right, we'll do this. Pop in swing. It's pretty good. Yep. It's pretty good because it's just like, hey, die. And this keeps it so it, they're eradicated at the end. So therefore, if they die, they'll be instead of sent to the discard, they're just immediately put in the eradication Yeah, and zone. you can mess with them again. Yep. Uh, Unstoppable Titan Warforce. It is a unified act. Once per turn, you can eradicate the top two cards of your deck face up. Then the next Titan Warrior you can script this turn gains Shockwave, which is when it comes into play, enters the play. You can target one warrior on the field with original attack two or less, destroy the target warrior. Yep. Uh, and if this card is eradicated by the effect of an Unstoppable Titan card, bestow plus two attack to all Titan Warriors on your side of the field. This card is nuts good, because I've seen it do so much on both sides, because you're just like, hey, cool, my dudes get Shockwave, and I get plus two to all my dudes. Yep. And all, all the cards that say if it's eradicated by an Unstoppable card, this is your main, main cornerstone of it, because every turn you're just doing it. Yeah. Next one, uh, Forever Unstoppable. It is also an act. Once per turn, you can eradicate one unstoppable card from your hand face up, then draw a card. Once per turn, you can play Bloodborne 8 and target one unstoppable card in your eradication zone. I and one warrior on the field and added add the targeted unstoppable card to your hand and destroy target warrior on the field. So that card that you literally just eradicated and probably got a special bonus to it, now you get to just pay eight and use it. Pretty much. Or get it. In yeah, your it's hand. pretty dumb because you're just like, I'll pay eight, kill your dude, and get a card back. Yep. Thanks. And draw another card because you use the top Just, ability. Yeah, you know. exactly. Seems good. Uh, Land of the Goliaths. It is a unified act. When this card is first activated, you may you must pay Bloodborne 15, eradicate all warriors on the field with the original attack, three or less. Yay. And then once per turn, you can pay Bloodborne 15 and target up to three warriors on the field with the original attack, three or less, and eradicate those warriors face up. So this is to clear your way. Your dudes are in my way. I want them gone. Yep. I can do this whenever I need to to be like, hey, cool, Bloodborne 15. You don't have things in my way now, and I just get to hit you. I just get to hit you all the time. And it is our five-star rare of the deck, so it's amazing. And it, there's a reason why. As you, you heard Kevin say, you're killing the board every turn. You don't care. Yeah. Return of the Primordials, uh, Unified. You can only activate this card if your Titan is Prometheus, and the Titan Warlord is 45 or more life. Eradicate the top four cards of your deck face up, then reduce the damage counter max DCM, of your Titan Warrior by X plus one, where X is the number of Titan cards that are on all player eradication zones. Now it's not an unstoppable card, but this card will make you unstoppable and unkillable. Because if you just keep doing this as much as possible, you just keep gaining life. Yeah. Uh, enhance my power. It is a unified Bloodborne six. You can only play this card if your Titan is Prometheus. Uh, target one Titan Warrior on your side of the field, bestow plus three to the targeted warrior for each Titan Warrior in eradication zone until the end of turn. Uh, if this card is eradicated by the effect of a Primordial Titan card, bestow plus three to all warriors on the field. So for the most part, it's going to be the plus three to your dudes, which is in, or to target a warrior for each Titan warrior in your graveyard yeah. or in your eradication zone, which is disgusting. Yeah. Because I've seen it hit and you're just like, that dude gets plus 25 because, you know, I can. Yes, and then now I sing twice and then it's all fun. Uh, we have gifts from Aaron. It's a unified Bloodborne 5. Target up to two Titan warriors in your eradication zone. Add the targeted cards to your hand. This card is eradicated, then shuffle this card back in your deck and draw one card. Simple as that. You'd be able to like, I need these two cards now. Thank you. Uh, Pandora's Box. It is a unified Bloodborne 8. Destroy all fortified cards on the field. If this card is eradicated, eradicate the top two cards of each player's deck face up. 
you can activate this only once per turn. So it helps you because it's yeah. just like, hey, cool, you did all that trick to set up on my turn. No, get out of it. Yeah, and that's before I attack. So therefore, you have no tricks on attacking creatures. Yeah. Next one is uh, Unstoppable Titan War Siege. It is unified. <clears throat> Bloodborne 6, bestow plus 3 attack to all Titan Wars on your side of the field until end of turn. If this card is eradicated by the effect of an Unstoppable card, you can pay Bloodborne 6 and do the exact same thing, plus 3 to attack all Titan Warriors on your side of the field. Because why not? You just want bigger dudes to keep swinging harder. Uh, unstoppable, Unbreakable. It is a fortified act. As long as this card remains face up on the field, bestow plus 3 to all Unstoppable Titan Warriors on your side of the field. At the end of your turn, pay Consume 10. If you cannot pay the Consume cost, destroy this card. If this card is eradicated by the effect of an unstoppable card, you set this card face down on your side of the field. Yep. Just so it literally is just like a hey, free, give me things. Thing. Yeah. And that's, that is the end. Uh, as you can tell, like we have that one fortified card, that's it, because Primordials just wanted, or yeah, Prometheus just wants to do stuff on their, on his turn. He doesn't care about you. He just wants to go in there, beat you down, and live on with his life. Yeah, and the quicker that he puts you on the defensive, the better his life is. Because he's just like, I'm going to keep swinging, and yep. you have to deal with it. Because I'm going to keep bringing my dudes back that are going to keep swinging really, really hard as much as possible. With that, uh, that is the deck. The deck list will be down below. Uh, catch it on our Tuesday night streams where we, we'll be doing brawls for the previous deck and these decks as well. And with that, hopefully you enjoy your stay here at Geektopia Island. Bye-bye. Later. Make sure you hit that like button, guys, and subscribe to our channel. It would greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure you hit that bell to stay up to date on any of the notifications for our channel. And lastly, make sure you give us all the comments down below. We'll make sure we get them. And just to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to subscribe. But for those mythic and above patrons, we like to give you a super thanks. And that would be Ryan and Magic Dragon Games. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. We love you.